Okay, so we're looking at Wataru here. Um, guy's amazing at Vault. Like, I don't think it gets much better than this. I don't think we've seen much better than this on Vault. Uh, here is a couple of years ago, so it's not the biggest Vault now. I think he's doing double pike half out. But here we can see. I mean, his thing's huge. Big double pike with a hop forward. So we can just kind of walk through this, and I think this will show why... <laughs> the run is so important and why it's important to build those kind of foundational TikTok motions and just having good rotation really. So first step here, um, and I think this is what everyone gets hung up on when you're talking about entry and hitting the board is that they want to talk about arm swing, um, getting your feet in front, all that. But what we're actually looking for is that point of max compression. So Whatever you do in the air here, well, well, yes, it does have an effect, but the most important thing is where your body is when that board is completely flattened. So here's initial contact. Here is, he sinks a little bit more, so I, I think that's max, and that's just past max. So we can pause it right there and see um, his body is basically vertical like the where his his weight is balanced so he's straight up and down almost vertical um and that's what really gives you that max compression on the boards how you can fully compress those springs to get as much as you can and then the secondary part of this is once you do compress those springs once you hit this vertical you have to direct that momentum so everyone's kind of in general we kind of think that since you're running and moving forward that that's what's going to direct your momentum, but that is not the most efficient way to do it. So we can see Wataru here, even in his hurdle, even when he hits the board, even as he's sinking into the board, he's reaching the entire time for the table. So you can see his arms reaching, reach, 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 reach. So when he finally gets that bounce, what he's done is converted the power from his run and from the springboards into rotation. And we can draw that. So it's not it's not directional. We're not getting this or this or this. What we're actually getting is kind of a circular path of rotation like this. Boom. And then we can see that um, but just the path that his hands follow. It's it's really easy to get caught up in that kind of heel drive and getting your feet over your head. It's it's kind of like the go-to for vault. But that's that's secondary. Because of what he's done by maximizing the springs on that vertical, and because of the rotational circle path he's created, it almost doesn't matter what his lower body does because his hands still follow this little blue arc straight to the table. So what we are seeing is because he has this rotation off the board, boom, he is going to get what most people would describe as a heel drive, but it's not some extra piece that he added in or some extra thing that he created. It's literally just the opposite, if I can draw this, this arc. It's the opposite arc from his position. So run, run, run. Max compression, reaching for the table. This is where he's at when he's leaving the board. His heel drive is going to be the exact opposite position. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. If you've watched my other videos um, about rotation, I like to harp on TikToks and saying it's the most important like foundational piece for building rotation and um, really setting those early developments for your kids. This is why. Because... <laughs> This TikTok motion is in every skill that you do in gymnastics, and that's what we're seeing here. So full run, boom, hits the board, max compression, reaching for the table the whole time, so he gets his nice TikTok. And then just some nerdy physics things. Um, because he is so efficient at getting to that rotation to the table, he's on before he he actually hits this horizontal. So his body is not even horizontal when he's touching the table. 
he gets on super quick. And that TikTok action allows him to also pass through vertical in his block. So I know <laughs> it seems like the big thing to do in um, in JOs and lower levels is to try to get off the table at vertical or before vertical, but those big boy vaults or those big kid vaults, the rotation you want is actually just past it. And he's off the table right there. That's how he's creating this massive amount of rotation. Um, so there you go. That's that's the like nerdy physics version of it. Um, coaching wise, you don't necessarily need to know all of this, but you do need to understand that this is a system. Like it's not pieces. You couldn't tell your kid to try to stand vertical on the springboard because it's not going to work. You couldn't tell your kid to try to hit this exact arch position on the springboard because it's not going to work. But what you can tell them to do is to run as fast as they possibly can and reach for the table. Because those two things, I mean, you can't really see his run, but you can see how far his hurdle is. You're running as fast as you can and you're reaching forward when you hit the board. What that's going to do is pull your body, boom, straight through that vertical. So those two things are just an easy key you can give your kids. Accelerate the run, of course. And then reach for the table. And then in, in doing those, putting those two things together, you get this system. This system right here. And then you can kind of figure out the rest as you go. It, it's almost like dominoes, though. If it, once once you've created the system, and you've built your TikTok rotation, and you've worked your um, your super nice for enhancements to a stick, then then this action is really just action-reaction, same as a TikTok.